Hi, great people. You yeah, are welcome back to Seacourt Fashion House channel. We are grateful for as many that has been contributing to the growth of this uh, channel. Thank you very much. So, and as, uh, as many that are yet to subscribe, you yeah, are good to subscribe today. Thank you. So today, I want to teach you a beautiful drape skirt, part of a gown. So let's go. So the gown we are working with is actually a three-quarter gown. So for this skirt part now, this is the length, the half length of my gown that I'm working with, which is uh, 18 inches, is my half length. So and the the length of my gown, because I told you is a three-quarter, the length of my gown is going to be 55 so I mark 55 here and the remaining two inches is a hem allowance my hip my hip line is going to be 25 inches to 26 inches I'll be using 26 inches as my hip line on this uh, gun my hip line 26 inches so note that this is my this my part-time paper is on is on foot so if you measure from my waistline to this uh, my hip line now we are having eight inches Good. so the next thing i will do now is to get my my waist measurements and the waist measurements i'm working with is a uh, 34. so i will first of all mark my bust span on this uh, pattern my bust span is eight inches i divide it by two give me four inches so i mark four inches here you just mark it here too so the essence of this is to get my my dart so on it i come to the left and to the right with a half half inch half inch half inch then um, i mark down four and a half from up then i connect it so this is my this is my dart so for my waistline now i get my waist circumference the waist circumference i'm working with is a 34 i divide 34 by by four if i divide 34 by four it gives me eight and a half so i mark i get my eight and a half from this my waistline eight and a half I return this one inch, which is my, which is my dart. I return it here. Then I get my same allowance of a one inch. I'm okay with one inch as my same allowance. So on the hip line, I get my hip. The hip I'm working with is 44. I divide it by four. Give me 11. So I mark 11 inches. On this uh, hip line, then I get my one inch uh, seam allowance. So the next thing I will do is that I measure what everything I'm having here on my hip line, which is a uh, 12 inches now. That is my hip measurement plus seam allowance, 12 inches now. So that 12 inches I deduct two. You can deduct up to two and a half from it to shape your skirt so here now if i deduct uh, two and a half from uh, 12 inches it remains nine and a half so i mark nine and a half at the um, i mean at the tip of my skirt here then i connect it so what i do now is that uh, i just connect from my hip now I connect to the tip of my my skirt. 
this area. Then I connect from my hip, I connect to my waist. And just blend it because it's not hard to be sharp here. So this is my skirt now, skirt pattern. Let me just connect to my end allowance. You can use just one inch as your end allowance, no problem. So here now, when I was drafting my the top part of this uh, gown, of this my three-quarter gown, is happens to be a basque so and the the basque vets there from my waistline which is a uh, 18 inches i came down with a i came down with three inches so i added three inches to my waistline which is 18 inches even to get my my basque uh, effect so that three inches now so i now later added a half an inch I added half an inch to this up part as my M allowance. See my joining allowance. So by the time we are using this uh, pattern to draft out our uh, fabric, we be reminded to add half an inch, which is your joining allowance to the skirt part too. But for the basket vet, it is three inches I had it. So if you want to know how this top was made, it is uh, made in our Corset online class. So if you want to know how to how it was made, just register to join our online class, corset class. So the next thing I will do now is to get my three inches down, which is going to serve as my basque line. So I mark three inches. So mark a three inches. So, so the next thing I'll do now is to take my French cuff, even to to now connect just the way you place it when you were drafting your, you know, your Victoria corset. Then so I just place it this way, just to hit my just to hit my original measurements you know my waist measurements is eight and a half then this uh, that allowance is being added one inch before we now get our seam allowance now this is the way i'm going to to place it so i just connect this way yes this is it. So the next thing is for me to, to cut it out now. <clears throat> so by the time we cut this out now, when you are placing it on your fabric, so at this up part, just add a half an inch to your cutting. Now, this is our skirt now. So I'll just notch this uh, that <clears throat> because we so the next thing is for us to open our skirt now. Yes. Here we have with our skirt. So the next thing we want to do now is to now draft our to do the draping now. This is uh that the remaining part of our darts now. And what we want to do to this dart now is to close it up. So I just I just fold the dart and just uh, close it up. You can use your pin to hold it. I do the same thing to the second side.
just uh, closing it off and just uh, blend it back. is to do the draping parts proper now so what we do is that this is the on our body this is going to be the left side now so from this left side I just mark down I mark down one and a half then I begin to mark one and a half like a six of it one and a half one and a, one and a half, one and a half, one point five, one two three four five, one point five. Yes, I have a six of it. So the next thing I will do now is to mark out. I mean, marking like a three, three inches by this side. That is where I want to be stopping my slashing. Because what we want to do now is say uh, slash and spread metal. So I just want to give myself some kind of a demarcation or border where I'll be stopping my slash. So now, this is my points that I've marked. That, this is my 1.5 that has marked by this right side. So the next thing I'll be doing is just to be slightly connecting it to this uh, side. That's a uh, 1.5, 1.5 as well. The next thing I will do now is to begin to open it. So, the next thing I'm going to do now is to grab another plain paper and spread this on it. So now, the next thing we want to do now is to spread this on, a, on another pattern paper. So I place another pattern paper under this so I begin to, to spread it. So this is the time you are going to determine how bold you want your plates to be. So for me, I'm okay with uh, two, two inches. So as I spread it, I hold it down with uh, a fist pin. I spread the next one, leaving in two inches. I hold it down with my pin. The next thing is to cut it out now. So before I cut it now, so what I want to do now is just I is that I just want to join the plain seat to this my pattern here, so that by the time we want to cut it out now, we just had our half an inch up here. 
so that we don't need to be adding our niche to our fabric again. So we just take care of that now. So let me just add the half an inch to it okay. So before we Pass it out now. We will begin to pleat this our two two inches. We pleat it up, holding it down with our all this. I mean, all this thing. So just grab the two inches, hold, fold it up. So, I want to be holding it down now with my pin. Hold it. Put it again. This is it now. So the next thing we want to do now is to cut out the pattern. So this is it now. So the next thing we are going to do now, after cutting it out, we now lose it back. By the time we lose it back, that is what we are going to use to cut out our fabric. So, the shape we have been so mind you, it is the this pin, the one I used to fold the pleats that I'm removing, not the previous one. This is what we are going to use to trace our to cut out our new fabric now. So as it is. You can even iron it. We are going to iron it so that, I mean, this particular side, so that everything will be straight in here. We'll be able to use it and cut out our fabric. Now, after ironing your pattern back, this is part of what you tend to experience. This place will be, this side will be pumping up. So that is why I have to use ironing to calm it down so i have to to fold it in to fold it and i mean hold it down with a office pin so after holding it down with a office pin this is what you i mean you tend to you tend to experience so all you need to do is to grab another pattern paper just to you just place it underneath your pattern to blend it up, to blend it back. So, squeeze it under this. Yes. 
So from your from your hip line now, you know, this is your hip line. You just blend this back to the to the tip of your skirt. This is the hem line. I mean, this is the hip line. So from the hip line, you just blend it to your to the tip of your skirt. Time you are cutting out your fabric this side will not be be looking so much so this is what you are going to use to you know to cut out your uh, fabric now so and as we are cutting it on our fabric i will show you the way you are going to take care of this uh, this um pleats now I've placed the pattern on my fabric. It's not on fold this time around. It's single. And ensure that this one that you are and the, your pattern as you are placing it on your fabric. Let your fabric be the front. This side is the front, not the wrong side. This the pleated place has already been aligned to be by the left side. So you can't just turn it. So I've pinned it down with my fabric, so I want to see, I want you to just watch as I cut it out now. This table cannot contain everything, that's alright. So I want to cut the left side first. So as you are cutting it now, ensure you are following this uh, zigzag. And uh, I want you to do something at this juncture. I want you to to notch all the you know when you pleat this. This you are going to pleat it up. So as it's going to be pleated, I want you to to notch it so that I'm notching it with the fabric. This is the next one. This is the next one. So that you won't pleat it at the wrong place. You pleat it exact the point at which you're supposed to pleat it. So I'm cutting it. You know, this material is very delicate, so I have to be careful with it. We have already added our half an inch hem allowance. With, it, with the pattern. Let me just go ahead and join it to the other side. And you just have to be very careful, especially when you are dealing with a dropping material like this. Trying to ensure that the fabric has not shifted at the other side. So the next thing is to to remove this uh, pattern now from the fabric. So this is it. So the next thing I will do now before I go ahead and uh, begin to join it is I will have to hold my pleats. I will hold it down with the pin. So, you know, we told you earlier that the pleating will face up. So, you just hold it. This, you know, what we what we measure is 2 2 
inches. By the time you hold it as your plate, it become one inch. So you you measure it one inch. This is my notch here. I hold it. This is another one of no cheat. I told you, your no cheat will help you. This is the way it's going to be in your body. So I'll just go ahead and stitch it down here now before I now join it. Then I join this part to my uh, bodies. By the time it gets to your body, the concept will be very obvious. So I'm sure you have enjoyed this video. So like it. Drop your comments on the comment section. Share with your friends and your loved ones. And don't forget to subscribe to this uh, wonderful channel. And don't forget to join our online class if you want to know more about Cosette. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching. See you next time.